Hey guys, I'm Nico from Midboss and for today's video, I'm going to show you in a more detailed way our POS Pharmacy setup and its features. Our POS Pharmacy setup includes our main unit, mouse, keyboard, and monitor, cashier drawer, receipt printer, barcode printer, and barcode scanner. This setup is highly recommended for pharmacies. It improves your entire store, simplifies your daily operation, and you can manage expiry dates of inventory effectively. And now, with our pharmacy setup, I'm going to show you item entry using back office. Before that, we need to create item categories for our items. Now, click item and inventory. And then, click item categories. Select the item type and the unit of measure. Also, select the type and input the category name. Now click add new and we have our new category. Now that we have our new category, we can now proceed to item entry, click items, input the item's name, so the name and the description should be the same, so to copy, click control C and to paste, click Ctrl V. Select your category and don't forget to click the editable description for future use so you can always edit the name and the description of your items. Now, if your item doesn't have any barcode yet, click Generate Barcode and then click Insert New Item. Now that we're done with item entry, we can now proceed to Sales Pricing. Click Sales Pricing, input the item's name, select the sales type, and input the sales price. Now click Add New. Now if you want to print the barcode for your item, click the pencil logo and click barcode print. Now, here is our barcode. Attach this to your item. And now that we're done with our sales pricing, we can now proceed to inventory adjustment. Click inventory adjustments. And then here in item code, you can just use our barcode scanner to scan our item and it will automatically input here in our item code. Input the expiry date of your item. So here it's for example. And then input the quantity of, that you have on stock. The unit cost or your capital and then click add item now next click process adjustment and we're done with item adjustment now that we're done with item adjustment I can now show you our reports now click reports and inventory and then click inventory sales report here you will input the date that you will view and here if you want to check all of the categories, just let it be in no category filter or if you want to check it per category, just select the category that you're going to view. Now click display and here you will see the sales, the cost, and the profit. Next is our stock movement report where you will see the opening stock, the inward items, the outward items, and the balance that we have left. Next is our stock sheet with expiration. Here you will see our items with expiration dates, the description, we will also see here the unit of measure, and the quantity that we have left. 
Now that we are done with the reports, I will now show you a sales transaction. So, scan your items using the barcode scanner. And as you can see, as you notice, that every time I scan items, this pops out. So this is the item expiry. This is the expiration date of this item. Now to add quantity, click this button, add quantity and minus quantity. You can also use item setup and input the exact quantity number. And then press OK. Now that we're done, we can now proceed to Enter or Control Enter. Input the customer's payment amount. And then double click the Tender Sales or just press Enter. Click OK. And now our receipt will print and our cash order will open. Now that we're done with our sales transaction, I will show you cash count and our Z reading. So first is our cash count. Where you will know if your cashier is short or over with the money. So, your cashier will input here the money that the cashier drawer have. So, for example, for 1,000s, 2,500s, 2,000s, and 2,000s. And as you can see here, in cash count, it computes automatically. And when you're done inputting, click print and end shift. And your cash count will print. Next is our Z reading. So you just need to click Control Shift Z. And then click OK. And then your Z reading printout will print. Now that we're done with the sales transaction, cash count and Z-reading, we can go back to back office and check our stock movement report because we did a transaction, so we will check. So now, as you can see here, our balance is just 28 and 38. We'll also check our sales leader report. So now, here, everything is complete. You will see here the date, the item code, the description with expiration date, the quantity, the sales, the cost, the profit, the payment, and even the cashier ID. And that's it. Our POS Pharmacy Setup offers inventory management solution to increase efficiency and improve your workflow. Now help your business compete in the industry using our POS system. If you want to boost your business, choose with us.